guys, today we're going to be unboxing uh, a directed 556 UW, UW Universal Remote Start Interface Module. So I tried this transponder key I was telling you about on my last video. If you go back, if you if you look at the uh, last video I did, uh, unboxing of a Prestige APS RS1Z Remote Starter. And I was talking about the, uh, like some vehicles need, like the, like after 2000, 2000 on up need like the extra key bypass module you know i mean nowadays they i mean when they first started out doing like like a lot of the fords the lincolns you know most of the gms some of the gms after 2000 they had what you call like a pk3 a transponder key and they we was using these bypass modules you know because a lot of uh where you put the extra key in the box i'm gonna show you guys how to do it how you uh how they go about doing it let me show you. No, because now they got newer modules where you don't need the key. You know, they cost more and it's a little bit more complex to hook up, but it end up saving your key. You don't have to use extra key. This is how we used to do it um, well, back in the day, if you want to call it. All right. Now, this is the module, right? I don't have a key with me, but you will open the back of this. It's like a little magnetic um, tray in here with wires hooked up to it. And you want to take these four screws off. And you take that off. And then the key, you will sit that key between the plastic parts in there. And it's, it's easy once you hook it up between the plastic. It'll show, I'm a, it'll show you how to do it in the manual. You sit the key up in there. You mount that back on it. You know, you hook the wire, the wire harness up to here. You know, and then you hook like your hot ignition ground, whatever you need for the um the unit. Then you wanna plug this into here, and then this ring, this ring go around like if you take the plastic cover off on the inside of the vehicle, this ring go around that, then plug back up to here. And what it is, it's it's like we say ohms or resistance in that key. It's sending a signal from that key electronically through this ring up to the ignition, making it think that your key's in the ignition. It's reading the um the ohms of the key for the transponder, because you know you got to read a certain ohms for the for it to start, otherwise it won't start. And that's how we used to do the bypass for the uh cars with the chips in the key, the mobilizer bypass. Okay, and if you open this up, it explain a little bit more. It's a detail. I mean, I just explained it the fastest way. I mean, it's pretty much simple as you look at it. All right. All right, let's open it back. Right here. Like they'll tell you the incorrect way. Let me show you. Let's see. That's the incorrect way to do it. You want to put it around, like I said, the ring part of the key. And inside, take the plastic piece off, run that up there, you know, and do it that way. And then if you look what I told you, remember what I told you guys? You take it off, you put the key between the plastic part, and then the rest of the key just rests on this. It looks like a little foam piece in there. And then uh, you put the top back on there. You know, you just run that wire up to the um, the tumbler. And then, you know, this jumper is for, like, you know, different modes where you can switch it. It'll it explain to you for, like, for European vehicles. You know, but I never had to really, really move that. So, and then it'll show you, like, what wires to use, like, the green I use, violet I use. The black is the ground, pink is not used. Then you got your red for your constant. And then the blue is for the output for the remote start. So when the remote start, it send a negative signal to the box, turning it on. So the box won't be on all the time. It'll just only be on when you, and I, you know, and this right here, only thing about these, these boxes and these old bypasses, a lot of people don't like having a key and they kind of like, oh, what if somebody break in the uh, vehicle and take the key? Well, if somebody breaking that vehicle, take this key. They need to take it because they, I mean, that's a lot of work they putting in. So, you know, to get up in there, then you not notice, like, I mean, who going to do that? Like, break into your car, take the dash down. take. That's why you mount this up in the dash and strap it down, make it secure. You know, because I never had nobody heard nobody taking this, breaking into the car, take the key out the backpack just, just to start the car. 
No, that's that that's that's too much work. If you got that much work on your hands, either you got a death wish or you just don't you know care about nothing in the world. The open the open somebody car, take down the dash, look for the kid. That that's just too much time. Um I never had no problem with that. You know, but a lot like I said, a lot of people this is how we used to do it back then. This is how I'm gonna do mine too. You know, because the other bypass they got, you know, it's a little bit more expensive. Like these bypasses may be like 10 to 15 bucks online, but the newer bypass may be like $69, $79 just for the bypass. But it kind of saves you money too because the extra key at a dealership maybe cost you upwards of 100 bucks or more. So, you know, that'll be the good thing on that. So, are you guys looking for a remote start? Some of them had a, um, the, the mobilizer bypass with the chip and the key. This is the bypass that you're going to need. <clears throat> they do have other bypasses like by Cram Stopper, Bulldog, you no know, Code Alarm. You no, know, just a they got a bunch of these different bypasses, but I like the one by Direct and Electronic because, like I said, it's durable parts. You know, everybody know that Dile Direct and Electronics, you know, they make Viper. It's pretty decent. I haven't had no uh, problem with these, you know, so. And then the only thing you probably have a problem with sometimes, rarely though, like it's positioning this around the thing. Sometimes you might have to tighten it up or move it into different positions. But once you get, usually what I do is once I get it into that position up under the thing, I either strap this to another wire or put some tape around it or put or tape it around the cylinder or, you know, <clears throat> just so it don't move. You no. Know, it really ain't no biggie. You really not gonna have no problem. But it's gonna be certain vehicles like you could do like a full them Fords. You can do about twenty Fords, and sometimes you are gonna get one or two that just don't wanna act right when you put this ring around it. You gonna have to move it to the left, move it to the right. You got to move it around until you figure out the position of it. But no, that's rarely. But you're just gonna get some type of freaky stuff to happen like that sometimes. So. Yeah, and that's about it, man. On the 556 UW directing module, definitely advise you guys to get there if you got this extra uh, chip and key. Like I said, it's plenty more different modules out there, but I will I will go with this. This is just my uh, reference. I will go with this. You know, so yeah, and. Stay tuned for the um the future videos. I'm be installing this along with the Prestige Renault Star and my other vehicle. I'm gonna be putting this on the uh 01 Toyota Highlander. You know, before the snow hits. Same way I ain't gotta be dealing with that. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end this video. That's it about the um the directed 556 UW transponder module stay tuned for my uh, next video when i do the install on it all right guys later be safe perfect perfect perfect